Hello, I'm Casey from Laurel County 4-H. I work at the Laurel County Extension Office, which means that I don't only work for 4-H, but I also work for UK, the college. First, I want to tell you a little bit about what 4-H is. The 4-H motto is to make the best better. Now the 4-H is on our logo, like on the 4-H flag, stand for something. Four H words to be exact. Any ideas what those might be? The four H's are head, heart, hands, and health. Four H has a pledge too. Say it with me. I pledge my head to clearer thinking my heart to greater loyalty, my hands to larger service, and my health to better living for my club, my community, my country, and my world. Now that you are in a 4-H club, you're one of 7 million kids all across the world that participate in 4-H yearly. 4-H started more than 100 years ago in 1902. And what was a common job back in 1902? Farmers. You couldn't just go to the local grocery store for food back then. Many people grew their own food. Researchers from universities like UK discovered new agricultural developments that could help farmers farm more effectively, farm better, than they were. The researchers tried to tell farmers these new developments that could help them, but the farming community did not accept these whippersnappers telling them how to do what they already do best, farming. Farmers were not very open to these new ideas, but young people, kids like you, love learning new things and exper experimenting with new ideas, like new technology. So the researchers taught the kids the new things that they had discovered about farming. The farmers then wanted to help teach the kids about farming too, since they obviously knew a thing or two about farming and all. While the farmers were helping, the farmers ended up learning the new ways to farm from those kids. You know, that stuff the researchers wanted to teach them in the first place? From all this, the first 4-H club formed. It was called the Tomato Club, or the Corn Growing Club. 4-H covers a whole lot of different areas. It covers ag, family consumer sciences, health, communications and expressive arts, leadership, natural resources, and science, engineering, and technology. One area of those that I like to cover or focus on for older kids is leadership. You all can be and probably have been leaders at some point. With 4-H, you might be a camp counselor, lead a community service project, or just help a peer or younger kid with a project. Outside of 4-H, you might be a captain on your soccer team, or you could be a role model to your younger siblings, or you might be a part of student government. There's all kinds of shades of leadership. The point is, you've probably been in a leadership role at some point. So, how do you become a better and more intentional leader? One way is the activity you'll complete after watching this video. It'll help you reflect on your personal style and learn about your possible strengths and weaknesses. Knowing your own personality and strengths and weaknesses that come along with it will allow you to play up your strengths and understand your weaknesses. My personality type is INFJ, and knowing this has helped me become a stronger leader. One of my personality traits is that I'm an introvert, and that meant that I had a longer road to feeling comfortable speaking to an audience. But because I know this is a natural weakness for me, I practiced, prepared, and gave myself time to recharge after those kind of situations. Now it is good to push yourself out of your own comfort zone and try to grow 
even against some of those weaknesses sometimes. But another part of being a leader is knowing when to delegate. That means you don't have to be good at every single aspect of a project or a leadership role. Sometimes you need to recognize other people's strengths and know when to hand something off. But for now, what I want you to really focus on is yourself as a leader, your strengths and weaknesses. I hope you all will think about how you can take on being a better leader than you already are. No matter how small the moment of leadership is, by being introspective about what makes you, you. Thank you for sticking with me to learn more about 4-H. We have clubs, even outside of school, that might interest you. Check out our website or social media to learn more.